In September, um, he was brought to my grandparents' house. Parang everybody was crying and everything. I was playing. And they said, na matay na yung tatay mo. So I'm like, okay. And so I just went on playing. I didn't have an idea on what death was then. Right, yes. This, but the wake was there. I saw him in the coffin and everything. Everyone was crying. So I remember looking and I said, eh, because it was, it hurt my eyes. Because of the formula, I guess. Ah, yes. So, parang I didn't want to go to the wake. Na, or, parang, yun, naglalaro lang ako. I didn't go to the. I didn't go to the funeral. Because my tita said to me, if you're going to the funeral, you have to wear this dress that I wore for to a wedding. Parang pang flower girl. And I didn't want. So <laughs> she said, don't go to the wedding. But I uh, to the funeral. But I think, in a way, they didn't want to take care of a babe. Diba? Parang a kid. Siguro parang... Yun. So I just stayed home. <coughs> My kuya was there. Death in all white. <coughs> I remember. Right, and then so like growing up, uh, how you know how, how was it was like, or you know the memories. Of um, most of my mem, well, I only had one memory of my father that was Davao. So everything else was just told mm -hmm. to me by my family, my brother, friends. You know, I'd meet people and say, oh, he was my classmate, he was my friend, he did this, he did this. So, parang storybook. <laughs> parang, ah, okay. And then I, I've read books about him, because, you know, so yeah, videos, you know, yeah, so it's a bit weird. I remember it when I woke up. Pero parang now, I don't remember exactly when it happened. Pero I know, oh. yes. And I cried because it was like the first time. It wasn't, it wasn't when I was young. Adult. In really? fact, maybe a few years ago. Really? But you don't remember? I don't remember, but I remember crying. Really? Yeah. Pero parang happy dream siya. It wasn't a sad, you know. Yes. So parang I just... <coughs> and you were an adult in the dream? Yes. Parang normal. Parang I saw it. Nice. I remember it. But parang now, I think I told I told you that. My grandparents, they visit me also sometimes. I guess in a way, there's resentment. Because, to me, like let's say for example, last week my mom was saying, September 20, in Bantayo, there's gonna be something for your dad. They're gonna honor him or something. And I'm like, traffic ka. Uh. <laughs> thinking to myself, and traffic, why should I be there? He was never there for me. <coughs> you know. <laughs> so, yun. So, parang, yun. But, you know, I'm proud of him and everything. But, on a personal level, parang, why should I go? Was he there for me growing up? Even then, I honestly didn't get hugged enough. <laughs> As a kid. <laughs> I didn't get hugged enough as a kid. So when my stepfather passed, well, suddenly, he was killed. Yes. Parang, all of a sudden, parang, huh? Diba? Parang, again, in our family, it's so unfair. Parang, parang finally, there's a semblance of... Because at that time, um, we moved the here, and then, um, you're staying in the same house with my mom and everything. So parang for me, and then my youngest brother was here now. For me, now that there's a semblance of a family, na, diba? parang I grew up not having that. Parang I lose another father. So, that at that time, that was hard for me. 
How old were you? Um, 23. 10 years. 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Nine years. Nine. Yeah, almost ten years. So that was harder, and then finally, parang yung mga um, wala, parang everything just comes back to you. And I think I was grieving. Finally, na parang I don't have a dad anymore. At was so I felt like. I suddenly felt older and then I was working and then I just started working and everything and I'm like, okay, I'm an adult. So, party. <laughs> you know, so, it's party then, party then, party. Ah, alright. So, parang, and you know, you're, I'm grieving, <coughs> I'm sad, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> That's what happened, I think. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> so that was your coping style. Um, yes, and then you know, there's like everybody in the house. Parang you go home, and then parang sad. My mom sad. My brother sad. So parang college na nga ako. Parang yun. Okay. So, so, but that's also how I got into sports. Because after years of that, I was like, I'm tired of this lifestyle, so uh -huh. I'll live healthier. Yes, I had a hard time actually yeah. finding um, a good boyfriend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because now of why, why yes. do you think? Parang, yeah. parang it can't be just anybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> parang, <laughs> Parang ang boring naman ito. Parang gano'n. So, but, parang, you have to have a semblance of greatness. Yeah. In a way, yeah. yeah. Parang, I have to believe in your um, passion and goals and everything. Yeah. I want somebody also. Parang, I grew up saying, <coughs> I knew my dad was great. Yes. I grew up with great men, like my grandfather, yes. my brother, you know. Yes. Parang for me, I I need somebody smart in my life or somebody yeah. who can like simulate me mentally and everything. Yes. So, yeah, I, parang ganun, yung, parang somebody you can respect mm -hmm. and you can just give that to anybody. Forgiveness. <coughs> okay. Super. Um, I'm not sure. I've I've never asked myself. But I guess with the way I sometimes react to things. Like let's say for things like that, na para or it's the death anniversary or whatever. And I'm like I I just feel I was robbed of a parent. Or for family, actually, because both parents were there when I was during my growing up years, and then, parang just thinking about it, as as an adult, I also have problems thinking of parang having kids. Parang can I take that responsibility? Parang I have to be there. Or, Yes. I think when my brother was getting married, I would cry. Just the thought of it. Na parang, let's say two months before, I was like, he's the only person that's been with me forever. Tapos parang he's gonna move to Cebu and everything. So yun. So parang that one. I had to cry it na so that when it's wedding day, Parang for me, umaya ka na ngayon. Kasi you don't wanna cry in this wedding. Diba? No. Diba parang that's so... 
parang for me, that's so selfish if you cry. Parang sabi nila, you're just a sister, di ba? Pero parang to me, well, he was the only family who's been there for me. Are you good with goodbyes? Um, <coughs> now I think <coughs> after all. Parang when I was a kid, I think not at all because para my dad, my yaya, I know I took it hard when she left. Ibo nga ganon. Yeah. <laughs> so, but at least, yeah, at least now you, you say you're good. Yes. Yeah. Parang now. Maybe after my dad married. After no, I got married, my grandparents, heartaches. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang you're like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I can live without some of you. <laughs> yeah, your heart gets used to it. Not that you get used to it, but you know you're not gonna die. You know you're not. 